Hey guys, Brian Amiwe here. So today I'm going to show you a tutorial of the Avatar makeup look. So let's get started. So first things first, you're just going to want to moisturize your face and body, including your ears, just to make sure that there's no staining after when you remove your makeup. So I'm just using a 70% alcohol on a cotton pad just to remove excess oil on our brows. So I'm only focusing on the inner corner of my brows. As you can see here, I'm using the spoolie to brush my hairs upwards and I'm using the wand to flatten it down. For my brows, I'm using two layers of glue, so you would want to wait for the first layer to dry before you add another layer. Now once this dries, you can use the Mayron Color Set Powder or any translucent powder. So our next step here is to mix our Paradise Paints in the shade Lagoon Blue and White. Using the spatula, I'm just basically scooping that out. The ratio on this one is 3 to 1. 3 for white, 1 for blue. And I'm just mixing that on my mixing palette um, from Mayron. And I'm using the AQ830 brush um, to get started for our base color. So I'm going to start applying this onto the highest points of my face, or basically where I want it to protrude more. So you're basically highlighting already with this color. So if you're new to face painting, just make sure that you're using less water when you're using the Paradise Paints, just so you get that opaque color. So as you can see here with my brush strokes, I'm aiming it diagonally so that we can have and take advantage of that texture immediately. So now we are going to contour the face. So we're just going to deepen the shade that we had earlier by adding a scoop of another Lagoon Blue. The application on your face doesn't really have to be perfect because we are going to intensify the contour with the intense powder layer. So I'm just using the white Paradise Paint to intensify my forehead and the nose as well. Alright, to intensify the contours on our face, we are going to use the Intense Pressed Pigment in the shade Ignite and as well as the brushes PW01 and SH06. So to have that wider nose look, you want to start in the inner corner of your eyes, down to your nose, and you want to connect that to the brows that you didn't glue down. Alright, so to define our brows, we're going to use the brush LN07 and the eye powder matte in the shade Black Onyx. So now we're going to add the detail on our nose and our lips using the Cheek Powder Rosewood and the brush BU08. This is the most exciting part of the look where it all comes together. So to add the lines, we're going to tap into the shade Ignite in Black Onyx using the brush SH06. And for the body, you can use the brush BL05. With this one, you can basically do your own pattern because if you have a reference photo from the movie, their pattern is not all the same. I'm using the Dark Matter and White Paradise Paint and splattering that onto the center of my face and as well as the center of my body. With the dry brush technique, I'm basically just adding more highlight and depth onto the makeup look. And look at that, it looks so cool with a UV light. And here is the complete look. I hope you guys learned a lot in this tutorial and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!